M.J. Nelson could have been the poster child for the failure of cooperative education, but a timely connection with another cooperative visionary set him on the path to becoming one of the foremost proponents of cooperative education in the U.S., inspiring new generations with not only the value, but also the relevance of the cooperative model. The third of eight children, William grew up on a farm near Brainerd, Minnesota, which had been settled by his immigrant grandparents. William began his education at a one-room schoolhouse with 13 students. When it closed, he attended town schools in nearby Brainerd. In high school, he dove into leadership. As student body president, he participated in discussions about design for the new high school, curriculum issues, and student services. William also became an active member in his FFA chapter, which he credits for preparing him to succeed in a variety of roles throughout his life. He served as chapter president and regional officer and was a delegate to the FFA convention in 1968. There, he played a significant role in the bylaw change that allowed women to join the organization. In 2013, William received the National FFA Foundation's highest honor for his unflagging commitment to the organization. After high school, William embarked on his higher education journey, earning degrees in sociology and political science from the University of Minnesota Morris and master's degrees in studies of the future from the University of Houston and community education from the University of St. Thomas. While an undergrad at the U of M Morris, William met Sue Breton. She was one of his regular riders on trips home for holidays and summer vacation. They married in 1975 and before long started a family. Anna was born in 1980 and Andrew in 1984. William dreamed of becoming an innovative ag educator, but a job offer with the Minneapolis public schools lured him to the big city. There, he was introduced to inner city issues, not only education, but also hunger, which would become a lifelong cause for him. Despite growing up on a farm and deeply involved in FFA, William had little or no knowledge of cooperatives. But in the mid-1970s, that gap in his cooperative education closed. As part of his futurist studies, William was working on a project on the future of co-ops with Ed Sletham executive director of the Minnesota Association of Cooperatives and future Cooperative Hall of Fame member. Sletum ignited William's passion for cooperatives and for ensuring, through education, that the cooperative story remains vibrant and relevant. In the late 1970s, William was hired to teach a new course in cooperative education at the University of Minnesota Wasika. For the next 13 years, he linked book learning about cooperatives with real-world experiences, inviting co-op leaders to speak to his classes, and initiated a rural-urban co-op study tour. With the closing of the Wasika campus in 1992, William joined his predecessor of today's CHS and was charged with creating an education grants program for what is now the nation's largest cooperative, with a global footprint and a Fortune 100 ranking. He now had the opportunity to connect his three passions, agriculture, cooperatives, and education. Under his leadership, the CHS Foundation has distributed a total of $8 million for cooperative education since 2000. It funds programs targeting youth, college students, and young producers. Under William's guidance, CHS launched its $1 million university initiative on cooperative education in 2012. The initiative brings together major universities and organizations in the U.S. and Canada to support an extensive range of undergrad and graduate level programs. William knows cooperative education extends beyond the classroom. He's an enthusiastic supporter of using technology to teach and serves on the Extension Foundation Leadership Council of the Cooperative Extension Service. Co-op educators need training, encouragement, and a network of peers as well. 
the Association of Cooperative Educators provides that support. But at one point, ACE was nearly defunct. William rallied co-op leaders and organizations to bring it back from the brink. Today, it has nearly 300 members in Canada, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. William has also been a strong proponent of the Teach Ag campaign, an effort to call attention to the need for more agricultural educators in the U.S. and celebrate the contributions of ag teachers in their schools and communities. William recognized early on that co-ops would survive, adapt, and succeed only if potential leaders were identified and educated. Creating this pipeline of leaders has been a hallmark of his career. In his role as CHS Vice President of Corporate Citizenship and President of the CHS Foundation, William has steered funding toward programs that foster rural leadership in youth and adults, ranging from 4-H to FFA to professional rural leadership programs. Agriculture has physical risks, both on the farm and within agribusinesses. To address this challenge, William was instrumental in forming the Agricultural Safety and Health Council of America, a collaborative leadership effort of diverse organizations committed to enhancing ag safety. His tireless commitment on behalf of CHS means a full calendar of meetings, speaking engagements, and other opportunities that make a difference to the company and the cooperative movement. Outside his position at CHS, William has played an integral role in several cooperative organizations. The Cooperative Foundation, the Ralph K. Morris Foundation, and was one of the founders of the Rod Nilsestun Legacy Fund. Along with his passion for ag, cooperatives, and education, William is equally passionate about family. He's a voracious reader, avid baseball fan, and for anyone who spent five minutes with him knows, a funny and captivating storyteller. Despite his early lack of cooperative education, William wholeheartedly believes the principles of cooperatives are as relevant today as they were nearly a century ago on his grandparents' Minnesota farm. Through truly creative thinking, a gift for coalition building, inclusive leadership, and boundless energy, William has reshaped and revolutionized cooperative education, introducing a whole generation of students and members to cooperatives and filling the pipeline with leaders for years to come. Tonight, we honor this innovative cooperative educator and inspiring leader with induction into the Cooperative Hall of Fame.